Why this is about to just along the Adobe, uh, not Adobe, uh, Atomus Shinobi display thing. And I was going to shoot this unboxing at home and then before I come out so it got a little bit of variety not like in one place but Yeah so much for living in countryside so now I have to come out to the countryside to shoot everything in one place so yeah but Alright so this at Thomas Shinobi is at Thomas first display only display because if you haven't heard of that Atomus famously make recorder so now this is not just a display because at the back there is a SSD pretty expensive SSD because this thing this is a Linger, 5, Linger V I think it's Linger V not Linger 5 this is a recorder you plug in any HDMI signal well actually not any HDMI because some of got some of them got copyright uh, you plug in HDMI from your PS4, Xbox or camera then it will record it is basically a recorder with a monitor with a screen with a really great screen so I think at some point Atomus think okay we have been making quite good display so why not we make some actual display so this is it yeah yeah always a really satisfying sensation so this is it just a monitor basically it's feel quite it's the same size as the linger we exactly the same size in fact you can even use a sun hood from this it also fit on this shinobi see can you tell the difference which one is shinobi which one is linger actually this one linger this one is shinobi they look so exactly the same in front because they are exactly the same size even the sun hood as I mentioned even the sun hood of the linger you can use it on the shinobi but the main this one the big difference when you pick it up the linger is like two or three times more heavier uh, because it's got a recorder inside and also this is full metal body the shinobi is plastic but it's I mean of course it's quite high quality plastic and it just make it much lighter you don't really need metal now this is a 5 inch touch screen display and then let's look at the around the whole thing on top and the bottom there's a tripod thread this side it's a HDMI input this is how you input HDMI signal and then there's a headphone jack so especially if your camera don't come with a headphone jack you can use this you can plug in HDMI input and then use this to monitor your recording handy on this side there's an SD card but don't be too excited about it it is not for recording your footage this is for loading LUTs and firmware updates and then there's a remote port for remote and then if you, uh, you if you got a calculator thing not calculator calibration thing you can calibrate the monitor with this port at the back at the back it's really simple it's just a slot for your battery and then a on off button that's it so what else in the box it got some dirt from before from the later and a instruction manual power adapter actually not many not all I don't know how many but not all display come with a uh, AC adapter which is great because you're supposed to use a uh, Sony L battery not everyone got Sony L battery so they come with an AC adapter and then this is good for if you're shooting indoor shooting at home or in your studio and so that it got a fake battery you plug it in it add a battery and then plug it into power and they call this battery eliminator funny thing for not me battery but yeah sounds cool how about that now the thing is this is basically just a display what's so special about it especially there is a main competitor on the market this main competitor looks really good because it comes with a arm like that so you can shoot like flip screen so why should I get this instead of this because of the display itself it's all about the display itself when this is a display I mean let me show you why so how to use it mount it as much 
not as much however you want how mount it like how I mount it or how mount it on top your, of your horseshoe all this arm and thing you can get them really cheap so when you going to use it plug in a HDMI cable and that's it wait for your camera to talk with the shinobi and that's it it's working and the first thing you notice is that this is a really beautiful and bright monitor this is 1000 lit 1000 lit which is the standard for like how bright it is so 1000 is really bright i mean it's definitely brighter than most camera lcd screens out there right so as you get to this monitor it is not just a monitor not just a display well actually most of these display got a lot of tools for you to use like the audio meter like there's a waveform and there's more bigger waveform more color colorful waveform vector scope zoom in vector scope histogram and this whatever fighter jet display focus speaking of course yeah black and white and then this you got some predator technology look at that Oof. oh overexposed yeah of course you can customize it and you got both color both color is also that kind of this is very much predator technology this is to see which part is overexposed this and that blue channel this is to check out noise level and then one to one and you got two times zoom in you got different crop different safety channel and then anamorphic support thing if you're shooting some thing short film or something like that now as i mentioned why do you want to get this is because of the display because i haven't told you this is a hdr display and what can you do with hdr display which is shooting hdr obviously because this panasonic s1 you can shoot hlg which is the hybrid log gamma thing which is hdr thing the thing is this is not an hdr display so when you switch to shoot hdr hlg you get a kind of a flat wash out image because this can't display hdr it's just map it to this display so it's kind of like when you're shooting log you can have it to simulate what you are going to get what about what does it look what does it actually looks you don't really know even the simulation got two different settings so you need a hdr monitor what you need to do is one two done that's it this is hdr this is all the 10 of 15 or stops of exposure right there right there no more guessing now i have to use my sony a7s2 to demonstrate lock shooting because my uh, panasonic s1 is still a prototype and then the v-lock haven't available yet because later you have to pay to unlock the v-lock unlock the v-lock yeah so no v-lock yet i have to use this to demonstrate s lock what you need to do is set it up you have to turn on the camera input thing the camera output thing the output from the camera after that you got more function here you can show it as native which is a wash out image or red 709 there you go so other than using waveform you can actually look at the screen to see what you are going to get this is closer to what you should get and also you can use lock to shoot hdr because it can show you what it will be like in hdr monitor you, you can actually see what it will be like on the hdr tv isn't it nice well so one thing i totally forgot to mention is that you can flip the whole screen upside down so you can mount it upside down and also you can flip it mirror you can mirror the whole image so when you're shooting by yourself you if you're turning this towards yourself shit <laughs> you can flip the image so that when you put out your right hand it will appear on the right side of the screen not like on the left side of the screen if you get what i mean yeah now one thing really important is the price if you know about atomus their recorder are not cheap so how about this one now buckle up because this only costs 
Free Line Line actually cheaper than its main competitor. The main competitor maybe got an arm or something like that, but this costs less. And then this is actually an XDR monitor. Now maybe you don't shoot XDR for now, but later maybe you need to shoot XDR. And even if you really really don't need XDR monitor, this is still a brighter display. This is actually a better display. Well, as they say, more competition, better for us. So check it out, Atomus Shinobi display, XTR display, a bright display, and a really competitive price point. So thank you very much, and I have to thank you everyone out there that support my channel on Patreon or the YouTube membership thing. So actually last year also all the money I've got from Patreon for YouTube membership all goes into making this video because it fun me to buy SD card, hard drive, even like wire, battery, that kind of thing. Thank you a lot for all of them out there. So check it out, Atomus Shinobi. And check it out, Lock help me with Patreon or YouTube membership. Just next to the subscribe button, there's a join button or check out Patreon.